think being able to uh, take away those primary reads, um, I think having me and Chandler on the same side of the ball uh, definitely can create some havoc for offenses. Having two dynamic playmakers on the same side, and when you have both of us in your face, that's taking away that primary read, and now you have to come back, come back backside. And when you have Sizzle and, and, and Chase and those guys still have, you know, and, um, and Brooksy still have the ability to beat the backside block, it makes the defense flow a little bit easier. Um, so having me back, I definitely think is uh, is great for for Vance. Let him call the game a little bit easier, uh, a little bit not stress free, um, but call the game he the way he the way he wants to call it and, and get back to, to 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 the things he he can lean on. You talked about playing, you talked about playing press man and, and shadowing. Mm -hmm. Knowing Mike Thomas is on the other side, how much are you looking forward to that matchup? Oh yeah, it's good. It should be a fun matchup. Um, definitely got my hands full. Michael is getting. He's by far the leading, the leading target, targeted receiver on their team um, by almost like 27 targets or something like that. So I know I'm going to get a heavy dose of him. Uh, Teddy is, especially if they don't have Alvin, Teddy's definitely going to find a way, and Sean's going to find a way to get, you know, their 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 playmaker the ball. And I believe if if I'm able to, to hold up my end of the bargain and play uh, great football, challenge, challenge him as much as I can. Uh, I believe I can give this defense the opportunity to, to be successful. Who's the toughest wide receiver you've been matched up one-on-one, -on -one, and where does Michael rank? On um, I haven't. Uh, the toughest receiver I had to guard, you know, I mean, all of them are so different. You know, it's really, to pin, it's really t difficult to pinpoint one thing, but probably the toughest over my career, probably Larry, because I, I, I go, up, go up against him every single day, probably the most reps. Um, you know, bigger body receivers able to pull through and things like that. But as far as in a game, um, Larry make it, I won't say he makes it easy for me, but he he just, he makes me feel comfortable when it's time to guard those guys on Sunday because I'm able to see it and practice each and every day. You said, uh, you said Teddy would be able to get Michael Thomas. Are you not anticipating any Drew Brees? Um, I mean, they said he's going to, they said he's going to practice this week and he planned on playing. Um, I mean, we have to. If the, obviously, with those reports, we have to be p preparing for Drew and and have to uh, think that he's going to play. But my gut feeling, I, I I think, my gut feeling says Drew sit sit this one out, get a bye week, and come back in um, in three weeks. So get an extra extra week extra week of rest. Um, cause my thought process is with us come being able to rush the passer the, the way we are and leading the league and force fumbles on quarterbacks. I think that can that can uh, raise some red flags, but I mean, if they put them out there, we just have to be be able to be ready to go out there and, and hunt after number nine. you and Larry over the years, who's won the most you want to back to practice? What would you say? What would he say? Um, knowing Larry, he probably would say me. <laughs> um, we were just, actually we were just teasing each other about this. Uh, we were talking on, on the practice fields, like, man, I used to eat on you with the uh, with those fade routes um, for like ten years. I said, yeah, the first the first two of those ten years, but I don't know about the last seven. Um, but early on in my career, he definitely gave me some fits. But I, as as the years started to progress and he started to slow down a little bit more, I started being in my bag a little bit more and and, and also in his hip pocket. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What was it like rewatching last Sunday's game, and did you see tangible differences there? Well, I mean, it was fun. The energy, for one, I mean, and that was undeniable to me. You know, everybody was flying around, everybody had a good time, and everybody wanted a piece of the pie. And like I told you guys, I wanted to, 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 I wanted my energy to come out of me and to my players as well, because obviously I have fresh legs, and those guys been, you know, battling um, throughout the season, having, you know. Uh, been a little sluggish, but I wanted to be that that spark plug, and I believe I helped those. I helped you know the the, the other ten guys on the field um, prevail that, and and I think that showed each and every play. And I believe that's what got us over the top. Guys playing carefree football, having fun, and flying around. When you're having fun and know and know what you're doing, nine times out of ten, you're gonna have a successful down, and and and, and that we did. You know, there's a couple mistakes that we that we wish we can have back and clean up, but it didn't really hurt us. But at the end of the day, we had juice. We uh, we, we we guys were stout then, 
and we and we play with energy. And whenever whenever you're able to do that, you know, good things are are, are liable to happen. For Zach Jones, was it really like another level of that energy kind of relief? Um, oh, for sure, because you know, all week, you know, I was so anxious just to get out there and just make a play, and I didn't make a play up until that up until that game. But I was wired up, and um, all the whole fourth quarter, I was like. At some point, I have to make a play. You know, I, I'm just itching to make a play. And Vans made the perfect call. Um, like I said, we've been practicing on that play all week. And uh, we knew that they they would not account me into the into the pressure. And uh, for me to make that play for the, uh, for that for our defense at that moment, it definitely felt great um, to, to, to get back in those playmaking ways for sure. How long have you been wanting to do that? Forever. I mean, that's, that's my first strip sack fumble. Um, I believe that's my fourth sack on my career right now. So I want to continue stacking them up and hopefully one day I can get in that 2020 club with Dub. 20 sacks, 20 picks. That'd be a hell of a hell of a group to be a part of. I know my stats, baby. <laughs> What's the biggest difference you see in this year's team compared to last year's Um I think this year going back to the 4-3 is it, we have guys that fit the system. I believe last year in the fourth, there was a lot of uncertainties. Um, you know, not guys, I won't say not buying into the system. It was just a lot of guys playing different positions. So it was uh, kind of difficult for them to get in the swing of things. Um, obviously Chandler having his hands down, he's he's more of a guy that likes to stand up. Me being a more of a, uh, last year, being a more of a corner, uh, a quarters corner versus a man to man guy. And as a defense as a whole, being a more of a, a pressure than sitting back and watching the quarterback operate. So I believe it was different for, for a lot of us. And I think now getting back, you know, we, we always had the personnel for a 4 3 uh, four, three, four. And I think having Vance and his scheme, it definitely fits our personnel. And it just allowed guys to line up and, to, and just play fast. So uh, I think getting back to that 3-4 to that and the real identity of our football team was definitely a key force this offseason. Did, did, did you think that you, do you, think you guys could Turn it around this quickly and beat three, three, and one already when you guys had some pretty serious issues last year, and now you're back to being pretty competitive. Already. Oh yeah, I think I think we can. I just think you know. I, mean, I, I, I honestly think it's a blessing in disguise. You have an office coordinator that meshes well with the with the style of uh, play that that the quarterback wants to uh, likes to play in, and then the system he came out of. I think it's very unique to have a college uh, to have a quarterback come out of college and literally fall into the same system that he came out of. So it wasn't really a learning curve for, for him, learning a whole new system, a whole new language. It was almost turnkey ready for the offensive side of the ball. And on the defensive side, like I said, now we're playing to our strengths. We're playing, we put our playmakers in position to be successful, which is going back to that 3-4, letting guys be comfortable in their roles, and just go out there and play smart, physical football. And we've, we've been doing that so far the second quarter of the season. We've got one more game in the second quarter of the season. Hopefully we can, we can continue building on that and hopefully come out of, the, hopefully come out of Sunday with a, with, a, uh, with a victory. How about going back to Louisiana? Is that by design? Did you plan a travel? Um, you know, Coach got a great game plan in place for us uh, against the Saints. Last week it was pretty much just playing boundary, just, just trying to take away uh, Daniel's primary reads. Uh, we, we, you know, we, Coach had a, a really good beat on him. On the way, every time he dropped back, he's always looking to his right because you know most young quarterbacks do that, and that's that's a tendency for him. We got short side of the field, easier read for him. Don't have to really go through a progression. Um, this week, I will have a a, a pretty a, a, a great share of op, a great opportunity um, to have Michael at times. Um, so I won't necessarily call it traveling with him, but I will have a a good bit of opportunities because Michael, he's a they gonna they move them around a lot. They move them. They have them at three. They have them at two, and having a guy like me um, try to go and play nickel and play inside, kind it kind of can throw off the defense a little bit. So, you know, um, I will have my fair opportunities against him. Uh, I'm sure he's looking forward to the matchup and should be a great one. And um, that place is gonna be wild. I can't wait to get down there to the uh, to the Superdome because we know they're gonna have something for us when we get there for sure. Oh, it's definitely uh, in, so. In my in my position, or in the way he wants to call the game. Um, in the way he calls the game. 
Um, I think it's always going to be um, room to grow because it's still this is still our, that was still our first game together, you know, um, you know, having me back and, and obviously seeing my body of work over the years is all cool. But when you actually are in on the sideline with this guy or actually calling plays with him, it's different. And like I said, this is our first game. Well, last week was our first game together. Vance understands how I want to play. He know what style of uh, play I bring to the table. And um, I think now we have a, a, a real good understanding on, you know, you know, I have an understanding on how he wants to call the game and, I, and he has an understanding on how I, wants to, how I want to play certain receivers. Now I think we just go out there and just, you know, execute the game plan. I think now, I think we do, I think having me back allow him to call a little bit more pressure to get after the quarterback, get the ball out faster, and uh, also free up, uh, uh, up, uh, up, free up our guys up front as well. So um, he's been doing a great job of game planning thus far at that at, since I've been here. And he's doing a great job of really putting guys in position to really flourish. And so if, if he can continue to do, continue to do that, uh, I think the sky can definitely be the limit for us. Are you all the way caught up physically and on the playbook? Or was there anything after this last game that you're like, oh, I still need to? Oh, yeah. No, nah, this is this is in my wheelhouse. You know, I pretty much you know, pretty much everything that we're running now is similar to what we ran when we had Betcher, Bowles, and uh, Ray Horton here. You know, these guys pretty much came out of out of the same family, just different terminology. You know, football is football, especially when you're coming out of uh, out of a di uh, out of a certain scheme like a, a fire zone scheme or a man scheme. Pretty much, you're going to have the same rules, just learning a different terminology. So, um, definitely happy to be back in that three-four, and uh, hopefully, we can have another big game here Sunday.